and gentlemen, today we are debating the resolution people should use social networking services. I, on the affirmative side, strongly support this resolution. I have three reasons, globalization, business, and environment. My first reason is globalization. According to Andrew Lipsman, social networking MySpace.com attracted more than 140 million global visitors aged 15 and older in June 2007, representing a 72% increase versus a year ago. So now, social networking services are common for many people, which means that they go global. For example, if you use Facebook, you, cannot, uh, you can contact with many foreigners easily. Also, whenever you want, you can send messages even though you don't know their email addresses. My second reason is business. According to, uh, according to eMarketer, at least half of Twitter and Facebook users said that they had become more likely to talk about, recommend, or purchase a company's products after they began, began following the company on social media. So, product, so the, uh, the advertisement of companies on social networking services stimulates many customers to buy their products. It will increase the reputation and contribution of the company. The more popular the, the company becomes, the better the, the economy of the company will be. My third reason is environment. Uh, environment. According to Jerry Kaplan, a free social network site where singles can meet and play games with others, other singles claim that social network sites are more inviting to people because they are not focused on focused only on dating. So even so through through social networking services, people can get many opportunities to do something with others. For example, if you use social networking services, you can find who have the same interest with you and enjoy them together even though you don't have any friends. Now, I have shown that people should use social networking services by talking about these three reasons, globalization, business, and environment. Thank you. So this is your chance to, you know, to fill in anything here, right?
participating the resolution of people should use social networking services. Now I will refute her points and then I will give my own. Her first point is globalization. She said uh, if we if we use social networking services, you can contact we can contact with foreigners, but it's not important because if, uh, if, you, if we have a foreign friends, we can't go and see them, so the connection will be getting big. And her second point was uh, business. Um, advertisement of um, social networking services stimulate customer to buy, but it's not significant because um, users of, of social networking services are interested in about uh, in friends, not advertisement. And her second, her last point was environment. Um, we can find a friend, we can find a find people who has who have the same interest and enjoy with them. But it's not irrelevant. It's not relevant. It's not relevant because. It's easy to make friends online, but it's much harder to make friends on in real world. Can I continue? Yeah. I have repeated her points, and then I will give my own. I have three points. Decades of personal information, addiction to social networking services, and cyber bullying. My first point is Decade of personal information. In social networking services, we can easily know the personal information of our friends because we must input our personal data to register. <coughs> and people who are not our friends can also get easily our information. And then people, and then they might abuse it. According to Lane Fatlam, Leakage of personal information might cause harmful attacks like stalking, surrender, and spamming. My second reason, my second point is addiction to social networking services. According to Daria J. Kass and Mark D. Griggs, on the internet, people who are involved in various activities may be potentially addicted. The addicted past people might stay afraid to use social networking services and then they will be tired and, do, and lose their concentration on some important things like studies and housework. Using social networking services is good to kill time, but too much doing is just a waste of time. My last point is cyber bullying. You usually register with your, register the social networking services with your real name, but you can register them with false name. And in this case, cyberbullying will easily occur. Mm -hmm. According to National Crime Prevention Council, the victims often experience a drop in grades, decreased self-esteem, and other symptoms of depression. I have clearly shown that people should not use social networking services by talking about three reasons, leakage of personal information, addiction to social networking services, and cyberbullying. Please support my side. Thank you.
other than that. I will support my own. My first point was leakage of personal information. She said, you don't have to change to public mode, but it's not significant because if you change to public mode, your friends might tell your information to other friends. It might Second reason is addiction to social networking services. She said we can get many information from 
social networking services, but it's not important because if we want to know if we want to know current news or information, we should watch news on TV or read newspapers. So I have I have shown I have clearly shown that people should social networking services by talking about leakage of personal information, addiction to social networking services, and cyber cyber bullying. Thank, thank you. For me, what about the third point? She. Then say that. Mm -hmm. Why did you do everything? Uh, uh, My third point. Uh, my third point was cyberbullying, mm, but she didn't mention about it. And I have, I have clearly shown that people should not use social networking services by talking about leakage of personal information, addiction to social networking services, and cyberbullying. Please support my side. Thank you.